Hello my beautiful Libras and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium, oracle prophetess. So welcome in. This is your first part of May energy check-in. Um, today is the full moon, lunar eclipse in Scorpio. Okay, so um, you could be filling, filling that, all right, but keep in mind that this is a general reading and um, take the parts that are for you, uh, and this is a timeless message, even though I'm homing in on current energy timelines. If you find this five years from now, it's still relevant, finds you when it's going to find you, right? All right, I just want to say thank you for all of your love and support. I appreciate you guys so much, and if you're interested in booking any kind of a psychic reading with me or a past life Akashic reading, you can find the information down below in the description box. Take time to breathe out, Libra. You know what I'm getting here? Okay, well, first of all, this is the disseminating moon. Um, so it's like things are like what I'm getting is like things are falling away, and that's so like um relevant with the with the with the full moon energies because things are are being cycled out, phased out, um, purged out, and released. Okay, so a lot of you guys could be doing release work right now, a lot of shadow work. This is taking time for yourself, take time to breathe out, rest. Um, nurture yourself. I'm also getting like someone who is like, ah, like there, there, there's something here about like feeling free or like they can breathe now. Could be you. I feel like this is some kind of ending, like karmic ending. Step up and lead a new moon in Capricorn. So you could be connecting to a Capricorn or just have strong Cappy in your chart. Okay. Um, this is a new, a new beginning. So it's almost like taking a breath out before. A, a leap of faith or taking a breath out before a new cycle begins okay it's like a moment of rest before things start to ramp up again okay new moon new beginning embrace the flow of life a full moon in gemini okay so here's some air energy showing up gemini is the twins um you see the them facing each other right here i feel like this is you mirroring someone there's someone mirroring back to you um the same energies or emotions, things like that. Gemini is a very communicative uh, sign. It's all about, you know, just being very social and talking and communication and social butterfly and, and all that, okay? So someone is, it's like they, they've taken a break, whether this is you or someone you connect to. Someone is taking a break. They're breathing out. They're taking a moment of rest. I am seeing the Four of Swords in my mind's eye. So possibly after a, uh, a a breakup, a loss, a separation, um, there's that leap of faith. I split the deck. There it is. There it is. I said that someone um, like before they take a leap of faith or or or, or you know take I don't know. It's like someone taking a, a shot in a new direction is is what I'm getting here. Um, and we do have the new moon and a full moon, so it's about you know maybe something coming full circle, things phasing out, so something can begin. You know, it, it's very cyclical like that, like the death card energy. Whoa. Queen of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Queen of Cups, okay. Cancer's Pisces. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay, she's the she's she's agape love. She's like the most love that you can give and feel and receive back. This is love that's given. Someone wants to give love here. They want to pour into a, a they want to open up. They want to open up and start something new here with uh, with the Queen of Cups. It's also you connecting um, to your, you know, um, your, your psychic senses. You're really listening to your intuition, Libra. Um, your spiritual gifts could be coming through, you know, much more and you could be connecting um, in a much higher way at this time. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Pentacles. Two queens. Knight of Pentacles is someone like at a standstill thinking about an offer, a message, something they've been holding on to for a long time. Um, something hasn't been moving. Again, it's a, at a standstill. There's this pause, standstill energy. Someone's like, you know, like a deer in headlights kind of. Um, 
Oh, because, okay, so what I'm getting here, someone could be dealing with an earth sign, um, a Taurus with the Hierophant, um, but this is about the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, someone's been thinking and at a standstill because someone has been in a marriage or a serious relationship, okay? There could be children involved too, but this is, look at that, it's your secret admirer, it's a past life soulmate. This is someone who's very nostalgic for the past, Libra, whether this is you or someone else that I'm talking about. Someone is in love. They're, they're very emotional about this. They are a secret admirer energy. There's definitely some kind of communication coming your way um, in regards to the situation. I think someone's leaving, but I think someone's leaving behind a, a, a serious commitment here that they've been in. Yeah, and as soon as I say that, because someone is viewing you as someone very confident, stable, grounded, you know, you're, you're abundant on your own. Um, you're very, uh, emotionally mature. You, um, you're, you're very spiritual. I feel like someone, it's something about you being very different and unique. Okay. Is, is what I'm getting now. She's karmic energy right now for me. So this is someone here who is secret admirer. It's a secret because there's been this karmic energy possibly, okay? Ace of Wands after that. There's a lot of attraction here. A lot of attraction here. I'm hearing that song. Um, it's like from the 80s or something. I think it's like Bette Midler. Something like that. But it's like, you know, you're, you're, the, you're the air beneath my wings. You know what I mean? It's something like this. This person thinks very highly of you, Libra. Um, you are the empress in their eyes. They can, they, they, they view you as the empress, okay? And as I say that, the devil flies out over here on the Knight of Pentacles. Yet yeah, someone has been at a standstill because they've been in a um, devil situation. There's karmic bondage here. Clarify the devil, the Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. It's the Ace of Swords, which is always a yes for me. It is divine truth. Okay, someone is cutting away the illusions. They're starting to see things very clearly. Um, this is a breakthrough. This is a victory. This is Archangel Michael energy. There's cord cutting um, happening. So someone is like detaching from a very, um, what I'm getting is like delusional situation, okay? All they can think about and see is you. I own the prize here, Libra. There's the lovers. It is a choice, a choice being made um, in love, possibly, right, between two people. All I'm getting is I see it now. I see it now. Okay, this feels like, uh, you know, they see it because it feels like there's been an awakening, enlightenment here. There's the King of Wands and the King of Swords. We have a lot of queens and a lot of kings here, right? But for me, it's just about the different energies. So someone here who's very, you know, probably very, they want to, they want to liberate themselves. That's why he's holding the sword like this, because he's using the sword, Ace of Swords, to liberate himself. He's going to war, you know, he's going to battle. He's the only king with the weapon, right? Um, but it's used to cut things away, um, to create more balance and to create like a justice type energy. So someone wants to speak truth. This is all about truth. It's communication. It's action. Um, someone could be very, um, good with their words, very intelligent. Okay. This person views you as very intelligent. Um, you know, this would be your energy with the air, but this feels like someone else, but it could be you, but it feels like someone else. Okay. This is someone who's witty. There's the Four of Swords. I, I saw it in my mind's eye earlier. I knew it was going to show up. Someone is taking a moment to rest. They're taking time to breathe out before taking action on something. Okay. This could actually be uh, two different people coming towards you, Libra, like with options. You do have the Seven of Cups here. Um, so let's go ahead and clarify with, you know what? Let's get the tea. Let's get the tea. Um, so anyways, my loves, this is, this is what I have for you. Um, a lot of shifts, Libra, a lot of energetic shifts, a lot of things ramping up. 
it's like a speed up. Like things are just shifting for you very quickly. Um, if you've been single, you're not going to be single very long. Trust me. Um, I am a Libra sun and I resonate with this message, but I also feel that within my own life and the collective, right? Like so many of us who have been doing the work, like we've gotten to this point now where we truly are ready to to meet someone to to come out of a hermit energy you know we've been all, we've we've been as a collective in this like healing mode of just taking time for ourselves and you know um healing the wounds and and all the things oh this is someone that you are very much connected to tether this person feels very connected to you like they can't there's a bond between you that can't be broken or they can't let go you know, um, it's just, it just feels very strong. You guys have a very strong telepathic bond. Someone's listening to their intuition. You guys are having dreams of each other or this person's dreaming of you, um, and heart songs. So music is a big thing here. And I literally just got done talking about a song. Um, and for me, that's, that's confirmation. That's confirmation. Also, someone's been tethered to a very negative situation. They've had a lot of negativity around them in their life. Okay, and I'm getting chills at my right leg, which is the masculine side. So whoever the divine masculine would be here, 11-11 on the timestamp too when I look up, um, that's the one who's been in this, you know, kind of karmic way, karmic situation. Soulmates, yeah. Again, this, this proves what I just got done channeling, which is this person feels like you are that you are the wind beneath my wings. You, I think I said air beneath my wings. You are the wind beneath my wings. You know, this is, you make me feel things that I never thought I could feel. I, I feel like this is true love. You are my soulmate. You know, you're the one for me. It says the one and deep love, a spiritual connection and life partner. Okay. Bottom of the deck here is foresight. It's in the future, a few days to weeks, very soon. Also says few months, but it feels soon. This feels very quick, okay? I, I'm gonna say within the next like month or, 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 you know, it could happen this week to be quite honest, but it feels like within the next like month, you know? Um, three, three to four weeks, something transpires and shifts really big within your life in love, um, but also just in general, things are just gonna be shifting for you in a big way. Your your finances are gonna shift, you know, um, doors of opportunity are gonna appear, you know, you guys have been doing a lot of really beautiful work collectively. So someone who's been at a crossroads, they make a choice in love, period. Okay, they have been wearing a mask. They, they know that they've been pretending, they're tired of pretending, they're tired of putting up a front, they're tired of having like a two-faced energy around them or feeling like they themselves are being two-faced in one way or the next and not genuine, okay? So this person wants to show you something genuine. This is genuine love here. Very strong soulmate energy here, past life. This is a very, very evolved soulmate connection. Could be twin flame for some of you guys, for sure. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and head over into the extended where um, I'm going to see more about this Four of Swords, where this person is at, why they were at a crossroads, if they are um, for sure like walking away from karmic bondage. Um, and I'm going to channel out messages of what they would want to say to you um, if they could say things to you right now. Okay, so I love you guys. I thank you so much. Happy May Libra. Um, and if you are interested in purchasing the extended, that's also right below in the description box. Um, so have a beautiful day again. Thank you for all of your love and support and I will see you soon. Mwah.